Hello friends and students. So in this video segment, we shall see how we can multiply two octal numbers. In the previous video segments, we've already seen how to add two octal numbers and how to subtract them. So here we shall see how to perform octal multiplication. This is very simple. Now you just have to remember that in octal representation, we have numbers 0 to 7. And if the number goes beyond 7, what do you do? You have to convert it to octal. How do you convert it to octal? By dividing it by 8. So let's take an example and let us see how we can perform octal multiplication. Say I need to multiply 2, 3 with 1, 2. Now I've taken an example where when you multiply these two numbers, nowhere will the result go beyond 7. So here you have 2 into 3. 3 which is 6, 2 into 2 is 4, then you have 2, 1 into 3 is 3, 1 into 2 is 2, I add them, so you get 6, 7, 2, so this is the answer, very simple, so the process of multiplication is as we do in decimal multiplication, let's take another example, I need to multiply 3 to 6 into 4, 2. So now what happens? So I have 6 into 2 which is 12. Now 12 is a number which is greater than 7 so convert it to octal format. So divided by 8 I get 1, 4. So what do I do? I just write 4 and then I add 1 here. So now what happens? So 6 into 2 is 12 in octal is 1, 4 so I write 4 here and 1 is written here as a carry. So 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 into 3 is 6. Next. So then you have 4 into 6. So 6 4s are 24. So what do you do? I have to convert this to octal, isn't it? So when I divide this by 8, I get 3 0. So 0 and you write 3 here. Next 4 into 2 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. So again convert 11 to octal, so you get 1 and 3, so you write 3 with a 1 here. Again 4 into 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13, so 13 divided by 8, so you get 1, 5, so you have 5, 1. So now you need to add all of them, so 4, 5 plus 0 is 5, again here 6 plus 3 is 9. So 9 has to be converted to octal. So divided by 8, you get 1, 1. So I write 1 with a carry of 1. 5 plus 1 is 6 and then 1 here. So this is the final answer in octal. So it is 1, 6, 1, 5, 4. So when you multiply the two numbers, so this is how you perform octal multiplication. It's very simple. So remember that when you multiply the two numbers, if the number goes beyond 7, what do you do? You Divided by 8, get the octal representation and perform multiplication the way you always have been doing. right? And then when you have to add, again if the number goes beyond 7, again convert it to octal format and then continue with the process of addition. Right? It's as simple as that. So I hope you have understood the process of octal multiplication. So in the next few lecture videos, we shall also see how we can add, subtract and multiply hexadecimal numbers. So do keep a watch on those videos. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads. And also click on the i icon to get all the videos on digital electronics or go through the playlist digital electronics. Thanks for watching.